30 miles from Fredericksburg, that's where all the wineries start. That will be cool to visit every single one of them. There's honestly one after the other here on this road. And uh, we are on 290. So some of them, uh, they look really interesting. We drove just by one that looked like a castle. We just arrived at Lady Bird Johnson Municipal Park. This is the office where I just checked in. Of course, we're gonna do a walk around later, but first impression is quite big and nice. We are at Lady Bird Johnson Municipal Park in Fredericksburg. We just set up. Now we're gonna explore the park itself. See what it offers. We have bathrooms and probably showers just across our campsite. Our campsite, by the way, is number five, which is a straight pull through. The municipal park itself is fairly big. I believe it's over 90 RV sites. This is our spot right here. As I said, the bathhouse is right next door, basically. I almost thought it was locked. Okay, two sinks, a one toilet, a one urinal, and a one, two showers. Everything looks very dated. I'm gonna see in the morning how it works. Right in front of the bathhouse is a little playground for the kids. And straight ahead, that should be another bathhouse. Those sites right here, they are back to back. So they're fairly short. The white line, that is basically the property line of uh, how far it can go. You see a back-to-back -back setup over there. This is the other restroom house. I don't know if it's a bath house. I don't know if it has showers. Looks more modern from the outside. It is. This looks better. Actually, this is a lockable bathroom and shower. And it looks like if it has been recently remodeled. So this looks way better as even a, a baby diaper changing station. Uh, there's even a community pool. I didn't know that. Straight ahead. And that is a fairly big pool. And there should also be a dog park somewhere. So I assume that all those uh, bathrooms here are similar. Let's take a quick look. We are on the other side. Yeah. They're the same. It's a shower and a toilet. Nice. Much nicer than the other one. Yeah, the municipal park is uh, located right next to the Fredericksburg Airport, which is a small airplane uh, airport, but you can hear the planes taking off every now and then. And right in front of me, it's a dog park, and the dog park is fairly large. It goes from all the way over there to there. That's where the entrance is. And it seems like yeah, there is another dog park right next to it. And uh, my goodness, it goes, I would say three quarters of a mile, the whole length of both. And then we have here another shower house. And that is also very close to my camper because you can see my camper right there. And that looks like if it's one of the modern ones. 
different layout door. I uh, see four doors. Let's check that out. Ah, okay, those are just showers, not restrooms. Interesting. So they have just showers on this side. Let's check if they have restrooms on the other. Yeah, they do. There are restrooms right here. Yeah, I don't know how you call those sides here. Buddy to buddy, 71, 72. If you're traveling with friends, then uh, I guess you would like a setup like this, an L-shaped setup. This is the parking lot for the uh, dog park. So this is the visitor center and office where you check in of the Lady Bird Johnson Municipal Park. And that gate that we just passed, that closes at 10 and you are given a code upon check-in. So park headquarters, and that's where we checked in. No data, we don't go there. So this one was founded in 1969. Come on, Data. And there's a trail system, the front desk lady told me, which starts just across the uh, park headquarters. And the first trail is the Live Oak Wilderness Trail starting point. There are some picnic tables at the entrance. And then here, some poop bags to the left. It's always good. And then some explanation here about the trail itself and the wildflowers that you can see. And this was the founder of the Fredericksburg Nature Center, William Bill L. Lindemann, 1937 till 2021. And straight ahead is the camping portion of the park. So you can go either way since this is a loop. We decided to go counterclockwise on this nice little shaded trail here, which leads down to a river that I could already see. Well, this looks like it's gonna be an interesting trail. So the city of Fredericksburg welcomes you to the Life Oak Wilderness Trail. Here is that little river or stream that I mentioned. Ah, look at this thing up there. We saw something similar at McKinney Falls. It's, uh, I don't know. silk worms or, or something. This is a pretty nice area. I believe that was a turtle, turtle that jumped in there. Well, Delta is happy right now. She was sad that we left McKinney Falls State Park because she loved it so much there. But here we just walked five minutes, not even from our campsite, and we're in the wilderness again. That's awesome. Honestly, I didn't expect this to be here because we're so close to Fredericksburg it, itself. I mean, we're maybe two miles away. It's amazing. Right, Data? Yeah, my girl, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And right next to the yeah, desert garden, uh, cactus garden, there's a, what I would say, a golf course. 
Here's that desert garden again. They got a, a blooming cactus here. Well, not really blooming, but it got those bright red things. Or does it say horse crippler cactus? I just discovered this marker here. I hadn't seen any other marker yet, but you can scan the barcode with your phone. And uh, then it says trail stop number two. And it explains what is in front of you and what you see. So basically what it says is that those live oak trees provide so much shade that no other growth can occur here on the ground. Of course, Delta appreciates that because she's nice in the shade and it's uh, significantly cooler here. Now we're basically back at the starting point. Not the uh, parking area, but we crossed that bridge before. So the trail is fairly short, but it's nice. And uh, let's see how far did we go? Oh, that's nothing. Three quarters of a mile. That's easy peasy. Nice walk. So we're approaching our campsite. All those are straight pull throughs. 30, 50 amp sewer water. And you have your own trash can. And a picnic table. This is the Fredericksburg's visitor center, which offers public restrooms as well as free parking in the back that is uh, right across the Pacific War Museum and just one block away from the main street with all the shops and restaurants so if you're looking for parking this is the way to go Yeah, and this is the National Museum of the Pacific War, which is an excellent museum. I have visited it eight years ago. It's well worth it. It's really a good museum. I can highly recommend it. Around the corner is uh, the birth house of Admiral Nimitz, who is from Fredericksburg. This is one of the so-called midget subs that were attacking Pearl Harbor. The door of the USS Arizona with some battle damage right there. It's just 650 miles from Tokyo. The atomic bomb. I now invite the representatives of the Emperor of Japan and the Japanese government and the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters to sign the instrument of surrender at the places indicated. The Pacific Combat Zone is also interesting. It's part of the museum. It's about two blocks away. It's a combined outdoor-indoor museum where they 
sometimes reenacts uh, the American landing on uh, some Japanese island. Well, sir, it was okay for reconnaissance and infantry support, but if you encountered a German tank, you are not a threat. You are a target. That's not the scenario you want to be in. However, in the Pacific, this tank worked very well. This area down here is our Japanese fleet head. Uh, we are waiting to cross Main Street, but when I get to the other side, to our German beer garden, but this here also represents uh, the historic district. And actually this is the birth house of Admiral Nimitz right here. So the beer garden is straight ahead. Yeah, and that's what we want to check out here. The Auslander. So that's their outdoor area. They're not too busy, that's good. There's Delta. <laughs> Delta and I are at a German restaurant, the Ausländer. Weird name. Uh, they pronounce it Auslander. It actually means uh, foreigner. And I see they have a pet policy here. It's about the four-legged friends. They have to be uh, on the ground, leashed, and exhibit good social manner as well. That's Delta's middle name, right? So, uh, and they're happy to fetch a bowl of cool water for our canine guests. Uh, where was it now? Polana Hefeweizen on draft. We do, sir. That is awesome. I would like to try that. Yes, sir. I'll and may that. I have a glass of water also? Of course. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're an angel. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Look, Delta, you got cold water now, not the water. No, I don't. Uh, first of all, I'm a big f I'm German, okay? <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Rouladen, but honestly, how are they? Or is there anything else you would recommend? Uh, Rouladen is one of the, my, my best dish on the house. We do have the par rose. And then we do have the Reuben. Yeah. We have the Jaeger. That's another one. Yeah, okay. I, know. I can't do that myself. But Roladen I haven't had in years. So. Go for it. I it's do. really good. Roladen it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is uh, supposed to be German beef Roladen. Of course, it looks nothing like it, not even remotely. But hey, on Spätzle, that's what I can tell. Let's see how it is. So this was the Auslander. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. They have a big indoor area, and this is not this one where I'm at right now. It's like the open area, open seating. But to the left, they have a big dining room. Yeah. Auslander Beer Garden Restaurant. Those are the Becker Vineyards. They also have an outdoor area, so that would be an option. Oh, that, that place sounds interesting. They have live music.
They got one place after the other. That's crazy. That's a brewery here. Oldest brew pub in the state of Texas. Texas wine cellars right here. The fat ass tasting room. That is really the name. I'm not kidding. Fat ass. Of course, it's not referring to the behind. That looks good though here. Yeah. Yeah, what should I say? It's a very touristy town. Here, it smells like leather boots. And yeah, that's what it is. Country store. That's an interesting looking building here. This is the courthouse library. With an eagle carved out of wood in front of it. And Right behind that eagle, that's the actual courthouse. But I think the library looks so much better. So the sister city of Fredericksburg is Montabaur. This is the Marktplatz of Fredericksburg. That's a German word for marketplace. <laughs> Delta, don't be afraid. This is where the German settler and founder of Fredericksburg and the Comanche chief actually shared a peace pipe on May 9th 1847 and they signed a peace treaty. This peace treaty is the only treaty in American history that has never been broken. Yeah, tomorrow they're gonna have a classic car show here, I was just told. Over 200, so that's just a small uh, portion of it. That Bel Air here is awesome. They even have a guard to protect them. Uh, that's an historic building here, that's for sure. Lokizi Bootmaker, we got those in El Paso too. Now this was the old central drugstore. It was built in 1905. And this here is Pioneer, beer, wine and spirits. And they have live music too. Yeah, Fredericksburg is a cool place, especially on the weekend. A lot of those old historic buildings are being remodeled. That's a good thing. I believe it's important to preserve history and those buildings if they could talk. So this says hospital, but then there's a store in it now and it says der Küchenladen, which means kitchen store. So kitchen appliances or utensils or whatever. Can't look inside, it's closed. But at some point in time, it was a hospital. Another German restaurant with a traditional name, Ratskeller. So here you can get free beer. I highly doubt that. They have t-shirts. Another cool place with an outdoor area and light music. Silver Creek. Live music every day. Outdoors. Outdoor seating and indoor. And live music. Awesome. Down on the other side of the street. That's the Ausländer. That's where we have just been. Admiral Nimitz. 
Another crazy little store here. They, I guess they sell everything but the kitchen sink. My goodness. <laughs> Yeah, this concludes our tour of Fredericksburg for today. Just walked up and down Main Street a little bit and took in the sights and the sounds. Some of the places have live music. A lot of them have actually outdoor seating, so that is great. We might come here tomorrow again and try another place. Maybe some with outdoor music, but uh, some that's not that loud. We'll see. It was fun. It was good. Good experience. So empty deep within. Where did I go?